run down a fast biography on him, Roger, will you? And get me as much information as you can for the next edition. Yeah, Roger. Roger. Just hold on a minute, Roger. Hello, Jim. Gee, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, listen, uh, the old man has decided to kill that story. Yeah, well, I don't know why either. Why don't you take it up with him, okay? All right, fine. Roger. Now, now, look, I'm sorry, but my secretary is ill and the phones are driving me crazy, so just get it done as fast as you can, okay? Yeah, all right, we'll talk about it later. All right, bye-bye. Oh. Hi, Papa. You need another head. <sighs> I need a secretary. Uh, what can I do for you, honey? I've, uh, come on a serious financial matter. Patty, I'm not a bottomless well. I know, Papa, but it's just an advance until next week. There's a fantastic sale on, on matching sweaters, and they're only $5, and if I don't get down there right away, they'll be all gone. Patty, how's your shorthand? My what? Well, you studied typing and shorthand in school, didn't you? Yeah. Well, how'd you like to come down here and help me out? Miss Wilson is off for the rest of the week. I thought maybe you could drop down every day after school and handle the phones and take a few letters. Papa, that's the greatest idea I've ever heard. I'd love to work for you. Being right here in the middle of all the excitement of running a big newspaper. Earning my own way instead of borrowing on my allowance. That's wonderful. Okay, we start right now on these letters, all right? Except I can't. You see, the reason I'm picking up the sweaters is that I have a bowling date with Richard and he's waiting for me. And I know if there's anything you hate, it's the daughter was not punctual. So I'm afraid I'll have to pass up this opportunity. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Here. Thanks a million, Papa. I'll pay you back next Saturday. Yeah. Hello? Buddy? I was the mindless guy. I'm George Reynolds, remember? Of course. The last time I saw you was in Chicago, was it? Right. What are you doing here? I have to report to Mr. Lane about a job. Hey, that's great. Give your uncle my regards, will you? I'll certainly do that. <laughs> right, Bert, I'll leave it up to you to set it up. Bye. I'm, uh, ready to take a letter. Square. But Patty's only seen the sights the girls can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair. But they're cousins, identical cousins all the way. One pair of matching bookends, different as night and day. Where Kathy adores a minuet, the ballet Ruth and Crepe Suzette. Our Patty loves to rock and roll, a hunk of makes her lose control. What a wild 